So let's talk Rittenhouse. We did a little sidebar video on it yesterday. And this kid, and, and Rittenhouse, if you're not familiar, Kyle Rittenhouse is the, I think he's 17 years, 17 years old. He's the kid who shot three rioters, disruptors, anarchists in the streets this week uh, with his rifle. And there's been lots of talk ever since. Justified, not justified. You know, uh, he was, he had already shot. So, he, you know, there's so many stories out there. The, one of the, the biggest ones is, you know, no one had any firearms. He wasn't threatened. He shot these people and he just had a cell phone in his hand. Yeah, we'll get to it. But lots of stories out there. And this guy now who was just out there protecting property, protecting property in Kenosha as these anarchists burn everything down and, and have their fits of rage has is been charged or is facing first degree murder charges again for shooting these three animals in Kenosha, two of which died, two of which died animals is referring to, of course, what the media would call people. Um, but this is some footage of him earlier in the night before the whole event went down roll two. We're protecting from the citizens and I just got pepper sprayed by a person in the crowd. So you had non-lethal, but you, you didn't respond. We don't have non-lethal. So you guys are full on ready to defend the property. Yes, we are. Hey, now, if I can ask, can you guys step back? Hey. Medical EMS right here. I'm an EMP. Need a medic. I'm a uh, so then the whole event goes down again. We're not going to show the shooting. You can find it online. It's everywhere. It's probably coming down in a lot of spots, but it's it's out there. But people are saying that he just is a white supremacist who is there, you know, throwing hate. Lazy, lazy argument by by the left and by these these crazed kids in the streets that they always do. If you, if you don't aren't with them, you're a bigot, you're a fascist, you're a racist, you're a white supremacist. And I'm sure there, there are some of those that are out there in Portland and other places, but that's not the that's not the majority. And you, and you know it. We all know it. But they're they're conveniently leaving out the fact media included but certainly the 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 crazed people in the streets that one of the, at least one of the protesters who was threatening him had a gun who was threatening Rittenhouse had a gun undetermined if the others did I don't I don't think they did but they're calling it a cell phone they're saying it was a cell phone and and look this kid was running you can see in the video where the shooting occurs he was running from them they jumped on him attacked him tried to take the rifle away because someone had, had yelled out that he had shot someone already which uh, uh, there's no other information out there on that but they try to take it away from him he he responds shoots three of them two of them end up dying um but they're saying that it was just unjustified. You know, again, he's a white supremacist. He's had a gun. He was out there doing this, that, and the other. And that the person he shot, there's the one you've probably seen has, you know, a bullet wound in his arm, uh, just had a cell phone. But but there's there's a photo, and we've got a couple here that, that, once again, if you just would wait and get some information, prove that's not true. Here's one that shows otherwise. You can see, and it's hard to see there. He's got something pushed into the ground. He's been shot in the arm. So don't worry, we've got another one. Here's here's one from James Woods. He tweeted out. You can show the, the innocent person there again. It's kind of the same picture. The gun is circled, though. But you're still maybe not sure. So we went ahead and brought up this picture for you from a different angle, which makes it clear as day, the individual holding a sidearm. But they, they say it was just a cell phone. Just, just a cell phone. He was shooting to do the cell phone. He wasn't. How could you be threatened by a cell phone? By the way, you, again, you had been attacked. You'd been jumped on by three hooligans. But, but they only had a cell phone. Again, folks, I'm not. It's just get some damn information before everyone. Everyone and, and the right does it too. I've done it too. We all do it. It's in our human nature to just jump and just strike and, and attack. Um, but there's. There's got to be some more information. We got to get some more information before we do it. We'll see where it goes. Media is not going to say anything about it. Um, yeah, it's just it. But 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 facts matter. Um, and here here are my thoughts on it all. I get why he was down there. I get that that feeling in your heart and your chest that he wants to protect people and property. He sees. This insurrection, he sees this anarchy going on in the streets. He sees this violence, this destruction. 
all of that. And if you're a good, God-fearing, American-loving patriot, and most, most males are, are raised with and inherently have this and then are raised with this feeling of, of, of wanting to protect people. There, I know there's lots of betas out there who don't know what I'm talking about, but, but you're, you have this in, in, innate feeling of, of wanting to do more and protect and, and push back. And then you see this happen in your cities and you want to do it even more because what's happening is, is ridiculous. And I, you literally strike strict the, the value of, of your life off when you go and start doing all this, this crazy stuff. And I, so I get that desire. I get the desire to push back, be down there, protect properties. And look, I, I don't see, I don't see any reason that anyone would support these people. I don't, again, I, you lose your freedoms and your rights in my opinion. I know it doesn't work that way necessarily legally, but in my, in my view, in my book, I've gone and I've deployed upwards of 40 times for this country to some shitty places. Some of them don't look as bad as Kenosha and Portland, but I've gone and done that for, for people's rights to have different opinions back here, to keep this country great, to keep this country safe from foreign enemies. But the biggest enemy right now is right here at home. And I don't see these individuals as deserving those rights. You, you, when you forego and you say F America, I hate it and I'm going to burn it to the ground and I'm going to violently assault people, this, that, and the other. you to me, you're the scum of the earth. I don't even see you as a human anymore. And I don't understand why Democrats will do nothing to stop it, but don't go down there. Don't go down there. I know that urge that's inside. I, I wake up pissed off every day right now in 2020 because of everything that's happening, particularly this stuff. <clears throat> but don't, don't go down there. I'm not saying don't fight. <clears throat> I'm saying fight smart. Be smart. Like, let them have Portland, Seattle, Kenosha. Let them have these places. It sucks that businesses are being burned down. It sucks that this is happening. But you're going into a situation where you're outnumbered. You're going, you know, you're, you're going to be put in a bad spot like this Kyle kid was where you've got to fight back and defend and protect yourself. And then the mob, both the physical large mob that's there doing all of this and the PC mob that's out there, media included, lawyers included, they're going to come after you. Let them dig their own graves. They're digging their own graves. We can see it in the polls. We're going to talk about that after the break. And we can see a bigger fight coming. So I would just advocate, and I'm not saying, again, I've got all those same urges, guys. I want to do all sorts of stuff that I shouldn't want to do. You know, there's a time where good people have to do bad things. But I'm advocating that you stop. Don't go down there. Let them destroy what they're going to destroy. Eventually, Dems will come around and realize that this isn't working and that they need to do something. And it's waking up more Americans that we need awake not just for November, but in general. And, and the Dems, they want us fighting back. It fuels their fire and their plan. If people go down there with rifles, this, that, and the other, and most of it ends up totally peaceful. And again, you're going to protect people and property. There's some who are going to pick fights and this, that, and the other. Y'all, that, that's not helpful. But, but again, they want you to do this because it helps them on a couple reasons. It helps them. Now they can go after your guns because there's been another. Why does that person need a rifle? Shut up. That's stupid. There's, we, we, we can address how dumb the, the gun arguments and gun control arguments that the Democrats push forward all the time. And we will face if they win this election even more so. But we can, we can tear those apart because they're silly. There's no data behind them. Um, <clears throat> but, but they do that. And then they can also say conservatives are violent. And this is part of the reason why it's in the street. If it's just them, if it's just them in Portland doing what they've done for three months, them in Kenosha, them in Seattle, all of this, guys, they're digging their own graves. They're digging their own graves. They're not going to win the election. Uh, and you also don't want to be going through what, what Kyle's going through now. And we'll find out more details on all the shooting. We're finding out a lot more now, but he's been charged. And whether it goes through or not, he's got an either long time in prison or he's got a long, very expensive legal battle ahead of him, all which could have been avoided if you would just let these animals do what they do and sit back 
and watch them destroy their party. Watch them destroy what's happening because they're not worth it. And we will win. We will win if we don't give them clips, sound bites, stuff like that to work on, to work with. So, all right. Speaking of riots, 